Sunday moonbeams. My little magical fucking creatures. How you doing? Let me light this candle for us. All right, so today's video. Um, first of all, let me say welcome back if you're new or if you are a subscriber. Welcome back to Moon's Apothecary and Tarot. Why are we struggling so bad right now? There we go. Isn't this so cool? I found it at the fucking Dollar Tree. It lets me burn my candles outside without them falling the fuck out. So, here we are outside. So, you might hear some noises. It might be a little, hopefully, nothing too distracting. But, uh, full moon in Sagittarius coming in on the 14th. We just had, uh, Saturn retrograde start. The planets are, uh, falling in for us right now. Let's talk about, let's talk a little bit about Saturn retrograde first, okay? Saturn retrograde, when Saturn comes in, he's kind of like, um, he wants to flip everything around for you, but it's more, and I know a lot of people are talking about like karmic energy, things like that, and I, um, that is it, like, karma is going to be sorted through here, but it's more of like, uh, he's not trying to turn everything upside down for you so that you have to rebuild, not from like the ground up, but he's trying to get you to look within yourself and reflect in yourself and, um, kind of renovate, renovate yourself, not rebuild um, try to work on the things that you already acknowledge. He's encouraging you to do, do like, uh, Saturn is a, uh, fucking ant on me. Saturn is a teaching planet, and, uh, he spends a lot more time in, uh, your chart as he, uh, it, he spends about four and a half months in retrograde, and, uh, retrograde is just where, like, um, you know when you're sitting at a red light and a car starts, like, the turning lane starts moving beside you and it kind of feels like you're rolling backwards? So it's kind of what it's like. So the planets can like pass you, but as they're passing you, it kind of looks, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of looks like they're going behind you. So that's the perspective of what a retrograde is. And um, it's also a very good time to, um, it's, all, it, it's all stemming down. This Saturn retrograde is all stemming down to self-discipline, um, working on business, working on yourself, it's actually resonating a lot with me, so, um, you know, sorry if I look a little in la la, but, um, everything is not, uh, everything might feel like it's falling apart right now, but it's not, it's okay, you're just having, you, you've got to take this time to reflect, restore, and, um, enjoy yourself a little more, teach yourself, find, like, um, work on that self-discipline inside of yourself, it could be coming, stemming down to f some financial situations, and those financial situations might be coming from a place that you put yourself in. Like, you put yourself there, you have no one else to blame, you kind of got reap what you sow type shit. Um, Saturn retrograde, all, retrograde all, also likes to uh, fuck with our tech technology, and, um, you know, you might find... Um, in the next month or so that, you know, our social medias and, uh, our ways to connect with everybody are not going to be the same. Uh, so something to, uh, think about. Um, I know everything for me personally, it feels like it's falling apart, but I'm kind of trying to embrace it, feel good about it, be confident about it. I'm trying to make some uh, bigger business moves, and I, it feels my pride is stepping in my way, and I'm trying not to let those past feelings and thought processes come back to me because um, I'm in a different state of mind now. And they, they are ghosts. Like, those, go the, those ghosts, those thought processes haunt us. Um... But, you know, you're strong-minded enough to get past that. Look at 
Look at this beautiful baby. I love him. <coughs> so that is what our Saturn retrograde is here. And if you have Saturn retrograde in your chart, you may, um, and you may be doing it now. <coughs> you may be internalizing your fears and keeping it to yourself, keeping it inside of yourself. And it's not a good thing to do. Um, it's okay to talk about them. Sometimes I feel like we know that we don't have anybody to talk to that, like, won't try to influence us or, um, I'm sorry, there's flies out here. There's, uh, I'm not, I'm not sorry, but I put a bunch of fruit out here for some chickens and it was the worst idea that I ever had in my entire life. Flies, it just flopped to them and I should have known better, but, um, you're probably really resistant to the self-discipline, the changing your thought processes, things like that. But your body's really been so conditioned to think this way. And you have to, yeah, if, you, if you're not happy where you're at, you got to change it. And it's so hard to think about yourself. And something that I was talking about this morning is if you can consistently and like, you know, for years make the bad decisions that you have, whether it was like staying at a bad job, staying in a toxic relationship, um, being an addict, some things like that, you know, like um, not paying your bills or your debts, some things like that. You, <sighs> sorry, my son just uh, almost came out here. I was like trying to do a YouTube mom life. Um, you don't like authority and even when that's authority upon yourself and you've got to take that initiative that responsibility initiative think about it like that um if you can consistently make all these bad decisions for years think about how great it could be if you could make all these good decisions like it's 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 spectacular that's all i could say um Okay, okay. Enough Saturn retrograde. You get it. Basic gist. Restore your body. Restore yourself. Your mindset. Work on things. Educate yourself a little more. A little extra. Um, it's all about teaching. What, like, whatever you're going through right now is trying to teach you something. Not everything is a lesson, but what you're going through right now is trying to teach you something and you need to self-reflect. Now, let's talk about this full moon in Sagittarius, alright? This, uh... We got a super moon, our first super moon of the year coming up. So it is powerful, powerful. Let me get some water. Mm. It's so nice out here. It's so nice out here. All right. Full moon in Sagittarius. Um... So, maybe a lot of fun. You might have some uh, activities fucking planned coming up for this summer. And it is especially good for Aries, Geminis, Leos, Sagittarius, and Aquarians. But it might be a little challenging for everybody else. Um, uh, you might, with those activities that you have planned, it might come as a sigh of relief. Because you've been working so fucking hard. You've been working your fucking ass off. And you deserve this. Fucking enjoy it. Okay? Enjoy that shit. But, here's the buts. You've got a few things that you should work on inside yourself with, uh, with the phases. Because just like the moon phases, we have phases inside of ourselves. And uh, you're constantly shedding and uh, constantly growing. Constantly evolving. You either have, uh, that's one of my favorite things to read, is that you either, you either have the choice to evolve or repeat. If you repeat, you're just going to stay, stay in the same situation. So, top five questions you need to be asking yourself <coughs> right now. Right meow. All right. Have I been... Have you been too carefree to where it feels like you're being irresponsible? <coughs> Me. You just kind of been living in la-la land forever and you're just kind of like, meh you know whatever gonna go with the flow but you're actually being really irresponsible and really um immature maybe um financially irresponsible emotionally immature okay um have you been letting yourself down like whenever you get like allowing yourself to get distracted but because you're bored and you're letting yourself fall into bad um 
bad patterns, bad old patterns that you, and old thought processes that you're trying to shed off and you're trying to, leave, um, you're kindly trying to leave that comfort zone and it's trying to like call you back, try and pull you back in and you're just like, eh, but eh, eh. I might, I might not. You're just kind of like trying to go with it. But man, you got to be clear on the decisions that you were trying to make, my friend. <sighs> be clear on the decisions that you are trying to make. Okay. Have, um, have you been overconfident to the point of arrogance or self, like being extremely self-centered? Um, maybe you've just been thinking about your feelings and not everybody else's around you right now or how your actions are not affecting or, or how they are affecting everyone around you. Um, those are big key points that you need to, you should really take consideration for. I'm not going to say that you need to take full responsibility of everybody's feelings, but take in consideration that, you know, everybody's just a fucking human being. All right. You can be confident in yourself without being an asshole. Or, you know, show some dignity and integrity without um, having too much pride. Um, or, that could also stem into not practicing what you preach. Which is something that I am working on. Because I can put all this uh, positivity shit and like all these exercises, things like that. But I can't. If I'm not practicing what I preach, because I'd be sitting over here in a state of fucking misery too sometimes, and I put myself there. I put myself there. It's cool. Um, I own it, and I'm working on it full wholeheartedly. I am working on it, but uh, it's it's time to step. It's time to step back and really take ourselves serious and take responsibility of who we are and who we have the potential to be. And how we can grow. You've got to think about how you can grow. Especially with the Saturn retrograde. Take, it, take advantage of the self-awareness that you are feeling right now. And take advantage of um, maybe some adventures or something else in life. Something that could help you evolve. And uh, I'm feeling the word stagnate. Don't stagnate. You're not, you don't want to stagnate. And you're feeling like you're stuck in this uh, moment of stagnation. And you're not quite sure how to dip out of there. And it's okay because I swear that the answers are coming to you. Just as much as good times don't last, bad times don't last either. All right, babe, just remember that. Bad times don't, they aren't going to last forever. And you're going to, if you've got some major shit going on right now, it's going to... It's going to pass. It's going to phase. And you're going you're gonna to shed that off too. But right now it might feel. It might feel fucking wild. It might feel fucking crazy. It might feel fucking scary. You're trying to step out of this comfort zone. And you're not sure how. You're trying to be bold and be brave. And you're trying to make moves that. Maybe the people before you couldn't. You're trying to learn about yourself and who you want to be. And that is so fucking great. Please have the, have the courage to do that. <coughs> um, full moon in Sagittarius, which is really funny because I was talking about that this morning <coughs> as well. Full moon in Sagittarius is also about finding balance between saying too much and not saying enough. We either overshare and a lot of us trauma dump and you've got to find a balance in protecting your privacy and your feelings because that's how you hurt yourself. You're setting yourself up for it. So you need to take advantage of um, really finding the ones who like really care about you and like actually listen to your feelings without trying to influence you in another way or trying to pull you in some direction or trying to obli obligate you in some type of way try to form your own opinions on things a lot of us have been influenced in so many ways whether it was 
my parents or family members, um, social media, et cetera, et cetera. We've all been influenced in some ways. And I feel like right now it is a time for trying to find, trying to find your own beliefs and your own way of life. And it's okay to take your time to do that. Don't feel so rushed and pressured by everything to have some sort of label. Explore all kinds of things and all kinds of ways of life. Educate yourself in many different ways. Remember that you can always be better. You can always be better. And what's the worst about working on yourself? What's the worst that can happen? You get better? You might get better. And it's okay. It's scary. It's scary to think of another version of you. But what's scary is to sit in this same version of you that you hate. That you can't stand. You're sitting here staring at this reflection of yourself. And you see this reflection of yourself in all these other people. And you can't stand it. So what other choice do you have? Hmm. Let's pull some cards. Let's pull some cards. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a little full moon spread. All right, all right. There we go. Unbelievable. I still can't believe it. I put all this fruit out here for these chickens and man. <laughs> no chickens came back after they've torn up my garden a million times, but... All these flies got some food for a few days. All right, so full moon spread, okay? If you're just getting a tarot deck, you're into tarot, full moon spread, you've got three cards. You're going to pull three cards, and you can pull them however you want, all right? I like to shuffle mine till some fall out, and if they don't fall out, I like to just cut the deck and pick some, all right? These, uh, these three questions, we're going to go over it. Um, full moon spread is actually what is the first card that you'll pull out? is what is falling away from you and what do you need for, to forgive? And if you haven't seen the forgiveness ceremonies in the entering a state of gratitude ceremony video that I put up, that is up already, go check it out. Um, so what do, you, what do you need to forgive about yourself and what is falling away from you? Like what are you trying to let go of? Um, card number two, is uh what's the illuminated full moon showing you what is it trying to show you what is the bigger picture that you need to see and card number three is of course your results what comes next your next step your little piece of advice that you need to take with you there we go <laughs> uh full moon and said it's time to release negativity that is what is falling away from us. That is, it's, tr it's time to release all those things that aren't serving you anymore, okay? Like, you're just holding on to it and you're just sitting in this state of... This state of being that you don't... You don't want to be there anymore. And if you don't want to be there anymore, you've got to take the initiative, take the steps to get out of being there. And you've got to believe in yourself. That's card number two. The illuminated full moon. What is it trying to show you? And this is a super moon coming up. And uh, believe in the impossible, okay? Believe in yourself. You've made it this fucking far. Keep taking little steps. Little steps to get you where you need to be. But do not fucking go up. Like, give, do, do not give up and do not try to go backwards. Do not fall back into whatever it is that may be calling your name or, you know... Whatever it is that is holding you back. Let it go. Let it go. You know that you have to let it go. Alright, one more. One more. And this is, this is going to be our next step. This is what is going to lead us into the next part that we're supposed to be in. Hopefully it's not too windy in this video. And that you can hear me all right out here. Uh, so, some of you, the answers are right in front of you already. You already know the answers. You're just uh, probably sitting in this state of, excuse me, but um, I'm going to say it. You're sitting in a pity party 
and you're just like, wah, 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 eh, this is all happening to me, why is this happening to me, etc., etc., when really you did this to yourself in the long run, okay? Um, you can't blame things on, like, things that might be happening around you. You cannot blame that on anybody else because you are choosing to sit in this place, these surroundings, everything else, and you're like, oh, it's my job, oh, it's my parents, oh, it's my trauma, it's my anxiety, it's my depression, but are you really taking the steps to make anything in your life better? What exactly are you doing in your life to make it better? Because what are we doing? What are we doing out here? And sometimes I'm with you, okay? I'm in this, like, state of being where it's... Why, what, where am I? Sometimes I don't even feel like I'm from this planet. I feel like I am... I feel like I am just uh, sitting here. Like, I bought tickets to the show and I'm just sitting here watching everybody else do these things. And that's me working on myself. See, I've disassociated... Um, so many people in my life have hurt me in different ways and I was also a toxic person too so that is not a stab at anybody but so many people have hurt me that I've disassociated myself so much that I don't know how to open up and talk to people anymore I'm so comfortable and it's a good thing and a bad thing but I'm so comfortable by myself that I just haven't and um, really this is me opening up to you guys so if you're still watching and you're still here um, Thank you so much, and I really hope that you take from this and this resonated with you. Let me know in the comment section down below. And um, make sure you go check out the Apothecary. I've got um, smudging elixirs. Um, go pick up a, a Lunar Soak, okay? Yes, this is me self-promoting because fuck you. I got to pay for promotions just like everybody else whenever they're learning. Um, so I'm going to promote myself while you over here. Um, Zodiac boxes have been selling like a motherfucker, but um, these Lunar Soaks fucking smell delicious so don't don't sleep on it get some deep breath deep breath remember that there's a lesson in all of this and you're gonna learn from this you're gonna take from this and you have the confidence to go on from this whatever is going on around you whether if whether it's good or bad you may not have anything negative going on around you so just remember in this time of positivity to just be and to remember that be be grateful for it show gratitude for it feel it okay feel it enjoy it acknowledge it and remember that it is also not gonna last <clears throat> all right so on my links, probably somewhere, you will find this uh, full moon spread and the questions for it. Um, like this video and subscribe if you would like. Go check out the apothecary. Go follow me on my other social medias because I post a lot every single day and I put my heart and soul into it just so I can grow. And I just want to spread some word that everybody, everybody can grow, okay? Everybody can grow and take from everything and learn from everything and it does not have to... You don't have to feel so bad all the time, okay? I fucking love you. I am... I'm gonna go fucking swimming. Mwah. Mwah.